Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a progressive condition that primarily affects the lungs, making it increasingly difficult to breathe over time. Quitting smoking is one of the most significant steps you can take to manage and slow the progression of COPD. But it's important to understand the extent to which lung function can recover after quitting, which is what we're going to discuss in this quick video. When you quit smoking, your body begins to repair itself almost immediately. Within hours, the levels of carbon monoxide in your blood decrease and oxygen levels begin to normalize. Within a few weeks, you'll likely notice improvements in breathing, less coughing, and an increase in lung function. This initial improvement is due to the clearing out of mucus and debris from the airways and the reduction of inflammation caused by the toxins in cigarette smoke. However, while these early changes are encouraging, they don't mean that the lungs are completely healed. COPD causes structural changes in the lungs, such as the destruction of alveoli, the small air sacs where gas exchange occurs, and the thickening of airway walls. Unfortunately, these changes are largely irreversible. The damaged alveoli do not regenerate, and the structural alterations in the airways persist even after quitting smoking. With that said, quitting smoking has profound long-term benefits. Although the damaged parts of the lungs cannot be fully restored, stopping smoking can halt the rapid decline in lung function that occurs in smokers. This means that while you may not regain the lung function lost due to COPD, you can significantly slow the disease's progression. This stabilization can lead to a better quality of life, reduced symptoms, and a lower risk of complications such as lung infections, heart disease, and other related conditions. Moreover, quitting smoking enhances the effectiveness of COPD treatments. Medications such as bronchodilators and inhaled steroids work better in non-smokers or former smokers, as the reduced inflammation and irritation in the airways allow these drugs to function more effectively. Pulmonary rehabilitation, which includes exercise training, nutritional advice, and education, also becomes more effective when the patient is no longer exposed to the harmful effects of cigarette smoke. Additionally, Quitting smoking reduces the risk of lung cancer, which is a significant concern for individuals with COPD. The risk of developing lung cancer decreases over time after quitting, contributing to overall improved health and longevity. But as previously mentioned, while quitting smoking does not reverse the structural damage caused by COPD, it significantly slows the progression of the disease and improves lung function in the short term. The cessation of smoking also enhances the effectiveness of treatments and reduces the risk of complications, leading to a better quality of life. Therefore, quitting smoking is the most crucial step you can take to manage COPD and protect your lung health. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. There should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.